Well, that went over like a Led Zeppelin and a fucking uh, Gene Simmons toilet bowl or something. So here's what we're going to do. I know. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I know. No, no, no. I know what I'm not going to do. We're not doing muscle plugs. We did the demo yesterday. Sorry, buddy, those fuckers didn't even... I mean, really? You got all these pissed off people, pissed off dogs, long faces sitting up there, sweating it out at 7 o'clock in the morning on Louisiana Saturday? No, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to do it all. So what would Freddie do about his claws, William? I'm a, I'm a I was speaking of Freddie, since I uh, shyestered in a little Freddie on Dickie uh, earlier. I've got some Freddy's nightmares to show you, and I got, I have a nightmare on MTV, which has never been released anywhere because it was a day of MTV where they let 
Freddy Krueger take over, and I recorded that shit, of course. Just like I recorded Dave TV when Dave took over, and Weird Al when he took over. MTV liked letting people take over their shit, didn't they? MTV, when back in the Headbangers Balls days, man, talk about tearing the shit up, party. It looked like, I mean, if you really like sit there and look like when Kip Winger and them, for instance, hosted, there's all kind of random shit all over the desk. Looked like they had sex toys and games and all kind of weird shit. I, I wouldn't touch anything on a Headbangers Ball desk. Like and we'll just coast on in on some. That's hey, the way it's I get don't do that. Look at that. It's Saturday. We're going to ride into the house on some biscuits and blues and hopefully not the nasally voice of Rob fucking Bear. And we're back from a trip for traffic. But at least we got a video. All right. We're out of here. See you inside. On the inside. On the inside. Oh.